guys welcome back to the channel if you're new to the channel i'm your girl nas and i'm back with another video so in this video i'll be sharing my experience with digicel what happened throughout the day this is day two of quarantine i'll be sharing what happened at the airport and stuff like that so i started my day out by brushing my teeth washing my face with only water because my face is very sensitive so I try not to add any soap or anything to my face just pure clean water yes yeah, so I'm all done and I'm gonna prepare breakfast but because I'm very lazy I'm just gonna have cereal and I know most person use well they add the cereal first and then the milk but I do the opposite I actually add the the milk and then I add my cereal to my milk that's how I do it but I normally get creative and add like fruits to my cereal anything that I enjoy I just add it to my cereal and I also have like this fruit bowl where I'm gonna add like melons bananas and uh, yeah so I'm adding the banana to my cereal and the remaining will be in my fruit bowl and I'm actually adding some grapes to the cereal and I'll be adding the remaining to my fruit bowl yes guys so this is what I do whenever I'm doing something I normally add what I love I would add this nice pineapple but I'm too damn lazy to peel so I just left it as it is so there is it yesterday I wanted to talk to you guys but I wasn't feeling well then I only ate two chocolate chips cookies a glass of milk i didn't watch any tv the phone woke me immigration call like 7 30 but by the time i got up to answer the phone the phone died i know they told me to don't let the phone go below 40 percent but i charged it yesterday so and i didn't use it the entire day so i wasn't expecting it to die they asked some like personal information well, confirm some personal information. They're just calling to check in to see if I'm home. But I thought that's what this is for to track me, so I didn't expect them to be calling me. You know what I mean? And I bought a SIM card yesterday. Well, somebody bought it for me, dropped it off at the door. And when I put in the SIM card, it's not working. They're saying it's restricted calls. I can check the light, the credit, and stuff like that. And I tried to phone Digicel customer care online. I sent them a receipt and all of that. Told them that I, I entered the code. They were closed, so I reached out to them online about the SIM card. And I sent them a receipt and all of that. The lady didn't test the SIM in store. She actually just gave the person that purchased it the SIM card along with a number to activate the, the account. I did. I was instructed and it's just not working so when i contact them and told them all of that information they're saying that the account is not active and basically that they cannot help me but i'm saying why the hell would digital like have an online customer care service and then they cannot assist the customer like i just cannot comprehend i was super upset guys because i was trying to set up my whatsapp with that number and then basically even if i uninstall the app or delete the app it just asked me back for the thing for the number like them i said them see me i try to set up with the number says that me can't add back my old number and it's just so irritating me i tell you so i'm very pissed at the GSL because i just don't see the point of having online customer care where you can reach out if you need help and then you cannot get the help that you need and it's not like i wasn't providing them with the necessary information to say that i did purchase the sim i send them the receipt i send them everything believe me i send everything to them what they do dumb like if you want to speak to a supervisor you have to request a call back which is done in 24 hours so me in a quarantine, if any emergency, me for wait 24 hours before me can get one SIM card for make emergency calls. Me I they buy that digital. So that they piss me off, guys. That they super piss me off. Me I like, this is still need to do better because that's why me have to rate Amazon. Why every company can be like Amazon? 
when you call Amazon, you know say your needs are going to be met. There's no doubt about that. There's no questioning about what will be done. You just know your, your issues is gonna resolve. But with digital them tell me some have to go in store, even though me I explain to them and say, guys, I can't go in store because I'm in quarantine. But it seemed like the person that had my number before wasn't paying their bill or I didn't put on enough credit or something like that because when I try calling someone it's saying that I need to put on a credit to activate the SIM card but I do not want to put on a credit and then nothing happens because first and foremost when we purchase it SIM it's supposed to get five dollars on the phone plus a one day data am I getting none of that uh, next thing go put on card and all of that go in vain. All I'm saying is I'm sure that the representative they'll be able to solve the customer problem because that is the reason we call. We never call for the day. We never call for call sake. We don't bored. We don't, we don't need somebody to talk to. And that's why we call. We call because we want our problem them solve. Alright now wanna wanna piss me off. It pissed me off man, piss me off wicked. I'm going to say I'm go back to digital and I'm right here back. But it seems like I'm going to make one sound decision. Because I'm oh, no, no. doing a job. I'm oh, not paying me for do it. I will tell me after your work, well, not work, but your teammate never test this thing. Me, I penalize something like that. It wasn't my job. I never me forgot to for test it in store. I blame that person and solve my issue. Guys, I don't even want to talk about the work experience like flying and stuff like that because I never get to do one video for another day because I just did make one quick video showing like the apartment and stuff. And I did make one the same video they have when I did from my family. So, as I said, I never did feel good. But yeah, everything was smooth. Even though I did pissed off in the morning because the person who dropped me off, they just want to rush home. And I had some bags. The bags were very heavy. So I could have, you know, move them around and stuff like that. I wanted my mother to assist me. And the person basically never want to wait. And if airport, you know, because of COVID, them change up them stuff like only the person that is flying can come inside and stuff like that so it was pretty annoying but me understand guys me not tell no lie me they vex the day they when me a fly me just got some ritual was safe because I was very upset and I think it showed because I was very I think I was very rude because at one point when I went to check in the lady was like good morning and I totally ignore her because I was having a bad day, which is not good, you know. So I just want to apologize to the lady day. Although I don't think she'll go watch the video, but sorry for making their day sucks. Like, the guy pissed me off. I never get women they want me here, never do one stuff. And just certain things I'm going to be out. It just never sat out. So I was pissed. Then the guy just want to rush home. The escalator wasn't working at Nama Manly Airport. So I have to take the elevator. Me and my lady going there. But the lady said, look here, if I scream out, if I scream out, just know that I become afraid. Because I tell her, I'm going to take the stairs. And she was like, no, just take the elevator. I tell her, I said, no, because I'm afraid. And she said, but I'm here, you. So I go, I make sure one of her said, I said, look, if I start scream, just no scare because of that. And when I went, I never scream, but she did say, I'm afraid for you. So flying, we just, especially when the plane are ascend, people say when it land, they're more afraid. But for me, when I ascend, so I always on trouble. But think about the whole thing that I would have to fly, because I definitely not travel by sea. It just nerve rocking and then we're very picky with food as you can see so i'm not traveling with that one Ooh, i'm getting a car which means it's working no 
as we talk about digital so the guy call me and tell me to me, me seem fix me get the call up on the same phone so me don't say fix it you yeah guys <laughs> i thought i was sorry and something like back to the story oh no girl no like flying and stuff so me did their window the beauty nice and everything but me not like height I'll be claustrophobic. When I arrived at Cayman Airport, everything was smooth, guys. I'm not gonna lie. By this time, my mood is changed. Even though they've changed the procedure and all of that, there was always somebody directing you where to go, so you couldn't get lost. Because for me, I do not like feeling stupid. So we just don't know. I can go somewhere below me know the procedure. The procedure and everything before me even go there that's how i am but guys don't forget to subscribe like share join the family guys if you actually enjoy the content if you don't that's okay it's just not for you after the hustle with digital i decided to get lunch so i got my lunch chopped off which i'm so grateful for because i do not like to cook so i got my lunch delivered and it was just enough for dinner so i said why not just split it in half and have some for lunch and then the rest for dinner so that's exactly what i did and then i just watched some netflix and chill i'm a lover of sweets so in the night i just had some ice cream after which i spoke to my family and then brush my teeth and head off to bed so that's how day two went what better way to start your day than with a hot cup of french vanilla that's how i started my day and then my ass was too lazy to do anything in the kitchen so I got breakfast, well brunch actually dropped off. It was late, it was probably around 11 o'clock so I had enough to just share in two so I had it for brunch and then I had the remaining for dinner just like the previous day. So it was pretty a good day, uh, same routine. So I decided to call my sister and we video chat while I eat my brunch. <laughs> it's breakfast but you know it's late so we call it brunch i think everybody call it brunch so yeah we chatted for a little bit well a lot actually because we spoke for about two hours it's already dinner time so i decided to you know reheat it, the food that i have left over and had dinner you know my girl that love my pineapple juice so i had some and I had another drink. I don't remember the name, <laughs> but yeah. And I watch Netflix and chill as usual. I'm alone now, so it's no problem being alone. Trust me, guys, it was good. And then after which I, you know, do the dishes. But guys, if you can see, I don't eat peas. So here am I doing the dishes, then cleaning the countertop. And then I just basically video chat as I normally do, eat some ice creams. You can see me doing the happy dance. That's so happy I am when I'm eating sweets because I'm a sweets lover. So yeah, guys. But I had fun. We chatted for a while. Was really enjoying my ice cream. But at one point I was like, no, bro, I gotta stop. Look at my gut. <laughs> Look at my belly. It's getting big. I need to exercise. So I was pretty much freaking out, but there's no worries, it's okay. So I got back my confidence and I, you know, continue eating the ice cream. And then I got another ice cream. I don't remember that name, but yeah, it was good. Good, real stuff. But then after which I drank some water from all the sweets. And then I continued chatting on the phone in bed. But I realized that I was really tired, so I decided to brush my teeth. Yeah, guys, so you know, with all of these sweet, sweet there, you have to take care of your teeth and some brush my teeth. And then I went back to video chat. But, guys, to tell you the truth, the video chat was going well, but you know, girl over here, yeah, so I decided to be tired. So I said good night and I cut the call and I went to bed. So, this is how I ended my day it was great i hope you enjoyed the video please remember to subscribe like and share 